Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Ted Wendell, who is the Senior Vice President of Strategic Initiatives and Planning at the Arizona campus of A.T. Still University of Health Sciences. You've uh, taught thousands, if not tens of thousands of students. Um, you know, what, what type of advice would you give to someone considering a career in healthcare right now, um, given all that's going on in society and with the pandemic? If I were giving somebody the advice, it's this chance favors a prepared mind. Learn as much as you can and then take advantage of the opportunities when they occur. I, I think about the, in, in my life the, the times that that's happened and I, uh, you know, I, I can point to them very directly. One of the things, how did I get into this? And I, I you know, we, we've talked about this before, but uh, I was in graduate school back in, in the 70s, and they taught me a lot about gas chromatography and, and the physiology of a rat. And uh, it, at one point back in the early 70s, it dawned on me that somebody was going to expect me to teach. And I knew nothing about teaching. And I went to my advisor and I said, you know, I probably should learn something about teaching. Uh, and he said, well, I, you know, I don't know what to do, but, you know, we just got a, a, a message from the people down the street and they're doing something called a, a physician assistant program. I don't know anything about it, but why don't you go talk to them? And for me, that was, it was life changing. Uh, I met a group of people who thought about education differently, uh, got involved in a, the start of a profession that, you know, over several decades, boy, I feel old now, but uh, over several de decades is, you know, has been a very rewarding experience for me. So chance favors the prepared mind. I love that quote. And another quote I like that's related to that is uh, Jefferson, who said, I'm a firm believer in luck. And I find that the harder I work, the more of it I have. Yeah, I, 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 love, I love that one too. The, the immediate future is going to be very challenging. And I, I, I think people have a sense that we're going to get a vaccine or, or, or COVID's going to go away and we're going to just resume or, you know, go back to where we were. And, and I don't think that's going to happen. I think there are some very, very significant challenges that we have to face, economic challenges, physical facilities challenges. Uh, you know, I, I can go on and on. So, the the expectation of the future uh, has to be different. It it we're not going backwards, and we have to rethink. And it's it it's this moment is an inflection point. Uh, the other part of that is, you know, we can see those as problems, challenges. I, I prefer that word, but in every challenge there's an opportunity, and there's an opportunity to think different, to do things different maybe even to build on what we already know from the past, staying flexible and recognizing that, you know, change is going to happen and we've got to accommodate it. Well, with that, thank, thanks again, Ted. And um, I'm Shiv Gulani. Thank you to our audience for checking out today's show. And just one quick reminder to do your part to flatten the curve and raise the line since we're all in this together. Thanks again. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.